Jefferson is making his case for an MVP candidate. I would put him probably number three at this point. Number three. Wow. Yeah, because I think you. Do, I think Patty Mahomes and Jalen Hurts deserve their spot. Okay. And you could you could probably throw in Joe Burrow if you want. I guess you could put him three or four. I would throw in Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa too. Yeah. Nick Bosa is definitely going to be Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah. And then Justin Jefferson. I mean, I think this Vikings team without him. I love Adam Thielen. I love T.J. Hawkinson. I love their weapons. But without Justin Jefferson, that offense is not dynamic enough. No. Especially with Dalvin Cook, who always seems to be banged up. Hasn't really been that effective this year either. Without Justin Jefferson, this team is not 12-3. and three. This team is probably, probably right where the Giants are, I would think. Yeah, right where the Giants are. You're going to have to grind it out for every single win. And you're seeing them do that right now. And Justin Jefferson has been the difference. You're season kind of was solidified as going to be successful once you went to buffalo and won and that was because he just threw it up on a prayer to justin jefferson and he came down with it in double coverage so justin jefferson should definitely be in the mvp conversation i don't get why it has to be a quarterback position every single year it's the most valuable player not most valuable quarterback even though they touch it on every snap but He's going to break the wide receiving record this year, which is something historic. We gave it to Adrian Peterson when he broke the rushing record. Just the sheer dominance that Justin Jefferson had. And then I just want to get 